This morning, as we begin Mental Illness Awareness Week, we are tackling an important part of the problem, destigmatizing mental health issues for men, and particularly men of color, by creating a safe space for fellows to share their struggles. We have quite a lineup joining us. Hello, NFL Hall of Famer Terrell Owens and former NFL player turned, uh, by the way, marriage and family therapist, Jay Barnett. What a duo the two of you are together to tackle, and I'm using that pun. Um, good to see you, first of all. And Terrell, why don't you tell us about what's happening today? Because I understand there's an event that you want to invite men to to participate in today uh, to sort of tackle this issue head on. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think uh, for myself and Jay, we want to base, basically uh, create a safe place for a lot of men of color um, and allow them to, to to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Hmm. Um, just the fact that, you know, we're athletes. Uh, we've been there. We know what it's like. Um, we know what the pressures and mental pressures are playing a sport. Um, but we want to allow guys that to know that, you know, it's OK to be able to reach out um, and just ask someone for help because at the end of the day, um, when we're not on our playing field in that playing space, there's a lot of downtime. There's a lot of mental space that we take ourselves and sometimes it's hard to get away from that. Man, you, you hit on it right there. Jay, look, the idea about getting uncomfortable it is 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 a and sitting in that discomfort that is hard mm -hmm. especially when it comes to emotional matters for men now look we're talking elite athletes but this is also the our fellows at home can find right. themselves trapped by that too yeah absolutely i mean when, when you think about where a lot of men are today and preferably for men of color mm -hmm. many of us have been raised by a single parent household and a lot of us have also experienced um, the the lack of having the space to be vulnerable mm -hmm. and the space to be uncomfortable, as Terrell was speaking about. And what we're wanting to do is really highlight and bring the awareness and attention to not only just athletes, but men of color to men. It, it, it helps to be open and to be vulnerable and to begin speaking about things that we're dealing with because so many times as athletes, we're looking at these athletes from these barbaric and from these heroic um, perspectives, but we're yeah. not looking at the humanity side of them, that they are people and they are human beings. So I'm just um, honored to, to partner up with Mental Happy and with Terrell on this project. And Terrell, you know, I was thinking about the fact that <laughs> this whole thing about you don't want to appear weak, right? The whole, right. that that is a thing that, that men deal with a lot is that this idea that being vulnerable or asking for help or showing that you are in pain or that you're struggling is is a sign of weakness when it in, in actuality you and I both know is exactly the opposite well definitely I know for myself uh, I've been in post post game uh, press conferences where I've been one to really you know uh, wear my emotions on my sleeve and so um, I think that's why I feel like I'm a great candidate to be a part of this yes. because I've been one of those, one of those guys uh, that have played, as uh, Jay mentioned, one of the the most barbaric sports of football, um, and I've been in a number of situations where, again, you know, I've had ups and downs, I've had a lot of highs and lows, and I could have gone either way. Um, and as Jay said, we have, uh, we grow up, especially men of color where we're raised to, to not show vulnerability. We're, sh we're, we're, we're taught not to cry. Mm -hmm. We're taught to fight through it. Um, but at the end of the day, as he said, we're trying to bring the humanity back to yeah. um, actually being, you know, growing from growing up from growing up from young boys to, to, to young men. Jay, you know, and, and, and you think about what we all collectively have gone through in this last, you know, 18 months, uh, you know, it has it has only worsened some of these issues for a lot of folks and and seemingly right. normal everyday things can be a trigger for it. it doesn't have to be necessarily big, huge life events, right? This you can right. struggle in the small. Yeah, you can just struggle just when your world as what you know begins to shift. When you look at the pandemic, let's be honest, we all had to look within ourselves and we had to deal with either uh, triggers or we had to deal with some of the things that we were kind of uh, hiding from behind work, behind career, uh, your relationship, wh whatever it was. And so the pandemic forced a lot of us to really have to look within. And a lot of that began to challenge us in our mental health. And as I like to speak about the mental health aspect is your emotional, 
physical and your mental well-being. Mm -hmm. And these three elements determine the quality of life that you have. Yeah. And so when you look at where we are today, we're all having to make a conscious decision to to really look at what look at our mental health and say, am I okay? I know yeah. I make great money. I know I have a <laughs> career, but am I doing okay? Am and I so okay? this is what you know, we're uh, faced with today. And sometimes that answer is going to be no, I'm not, right? Yes. And, and that's a point of power to be able to recognize that. Terrell, what can we, you know, look, I, I'm a woman standing in solidarity with y'all, the rest of us, how can we stand with you and support the, the neighborhood, the community, our colleagues? What can we do to help in support us? I mean, part of it is just having these conversations, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think what we're here, what we're doing here this morning, and my grandmother always told me, especially um, as Jay said, I mean, just being in a, just a, a, a just a space where things heighten. Um, my grandmother always told me, uh, "Idle time is a devil's workshop." And so, when you think about the pandemic and what it has done, mm -hmm. it has forced a lot of people, honestly, to spend more alone time, you know, with themselves. And obviously, like I said, you think about the. Uh, the personal and the professional um, pressures that they're going through, the jobs that are are being lost, uh, the yeah. amount of pressure for men to really now be mm. the head of the household uh, from a financial standpoint, uh, from uh, from a male sp uh, standpoint. Um, these are times, like I said, it, it has, like you said, has gotten worse. And I've lost friends, I've lost lost teammates. Um, just out of the blue, they've committed suicide. And I, and honestly, I think mental, uh, what we're talking about today has contributed to that. Mentalhappy.com, very quickly give me an idea of what this app they'll find, Jay. So they'll be able to find space to have conversation. Also, they will be able to find resources here on the Mental Happy app. And also, they'll be able to join forces with other individuals that are on the journey. And as I'd like to say, that this is a healing journey. Um, the journey is not short, it is, not, it is not straight, but it is necessary. And so I encourage everyone to continue to heal in whatever way that looks like, whether that's therapy, counseling, coaching, whatever that looks like for you. But make sure that your mental health is at a stable place. I'm going to give you an amen to that. This week, all week, you can tap into this free online peer support groups led by healthcare professionals like Jay. The website mentalhappy.com has all the information you need. You can also download the Mental Happy app from your app store. Uh, I give you both uh, my appreciation and deep respect for the work you're doing. Thank you very much for being here. Terrell and Jay, keep up the great work, and I wish you well today, okay? Thank you. My pleasure.